Recording? Okay, mm. cool. All right. Hi guys. So um, I just wanted to show the isopropyl alcohol. Um, I got this stuff from Mida 10 Mega. Um, I think it was about, oh, God, I don't know, uh, 12, 14 dollars. Um, it's not advertised. If you go into the store and you see like all of the methylated spirits and uh, the purple one, not even sure, the Terps, sorry, um, it won't be there um, because it's kept under lock and key behind the counter. Um, you have to go up and ask for it. It's, to, it's protected essentially. Um, yeah, but I find that this stuff is just way better than anything else that um, people recommend. It, you just have to be clever and just a little bit careful about what you're using. Um, okay, so what I've done is I've already got some stuff that's already been soaking, um, some old metal uh, Karamazov model. And what I tried to do is find a, a really, really old plastic model, the oldest that I could find. And unfortunately, it was just one of the original style uh, turned termagants, I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, right, so what I'll do is I usually take out the alcohol. And I usually take out the alcohol and then just chuck it in like a Chinese container. Um, and then I just put whatever I want soaking in it. So what I'm going to try and do is just show you how effective this stuff is. Um, if you have gloves, it's good to use them if you've got cuts on your hands, but if not, you can just go for it if you really want to, but you will get the leftover paint on your fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this, ooh, and open a window as well, because you do want a lot of air coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in there. Oh God, I'm going to pop that in there, and I'm just going to dunk it in there, and while that's sitting in there, I'm going to take out this model and I'm going to show you how I strip it. And so come over here. But, um, so what you got here is the old Karamazov model. And it's been sitting in here for about two days. Not even that. It's way longer than it should have. And then what I've got actually and what I also recommend is a denture toothbrush. And these are really, really, really good because they've got really hard bristles like a scrubbing brush. But it's like a toothbrush and you can get this little thing to dig out all the small details. So then all I do is I bring it over here to the sink and I'm just going to use the brush to lift off all that paint. Now this was actually like coated three times in white paint and then with some uh, gloss varnish as well. And then I'm going to take off all the paint from the feet. like so and then I'm going to give it a quick rinse just under some water and I'll show you how well that comes up so this has got little hot divots inside the model as well and I just use my brush to just kind of dig that out and then sometimes underneath there's little bits that the brush won't get to, so I just use that. And then sometimes inside the little grill bits as well. So sometimes there's little bits in there. You won't always get it 100%, but this is still the best stuff that I've had used in a very long time. Now this is really effective with metal models. You can essentially, as far as I've been found, you can chuck metal models in there and they can just sit there forever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use the tap. Just lift that one out and I'm just going to rinse it. Oh, actually, what I'll do first, I'll dunk it back in the isopropyl alcohol. And you'll see very quickly that that is pretty much down to the metal. And if you can see, it's even brought out the little tiny indents on the original metal model, all the roughness of that inquisitorial eye. That's all there. And the little skull inside the crest is still really, really, really well defined. So it hasn't caked up with all the previous layers of paint that this has had over probably the years that I've repainted this. And then the final step is essentially just to wash it under water. Give it another brush. I'm going to go back in there. And then 
Now this, this was just a really quick brush over, but I don't know if you can see it very well, but that essentially is almost a brand new model. So if you were to take a base coat paint, uh, spray paint, and just spray paint over the little bits that I've left, you can't even tell the difference. The, there's almost no difference once you put on a, a, a base coat. It might look ugly to begin with, but just have faith and, and it will look really good. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm just gonna put that to the side and now I'm gonna try and take some paint off that Termagant model that I've literally just put in for like a couple of, oh, less than a minute or two, like five minutes maybe. Okay, so here's the model here and we're gonna bring it over here and I'm just gonna strip it just like I did before. Oh, and look, it used to be pink. So, there's the plastic. And just scrub the other side. You can already see the plastic showing through. I must have painted yellow on top of the pink when I tried making a black and pink army concept model and then what I'll do is just I'll dunk that back in dunk that back in And you can, if you really want to, actually just go in and out of the stuff, of the, of the alcohol. And um, applying dunking and brushing to it, you can speed up the process. But if you've done two or three of these models and they're all effectively in the same batch of type of models, um, you can pretty much expect them to come out all the same. So um, I soaked uh, probably 20 Necron Warriors that had been repainted like three or four times. Um, and once I left them in for like 30 minutes, the paint, the paint just sloughed off, um, which I was actually hoping to show you with this thing. I think there's one piece in here that I can show you. Um, and then I'll just very quickly give this a rinse with some water, and I'll just show you how effective that is. Just give it a bit of a scrub again. See if there's any more that can come off it. Now remember, this was only five minutes soaking. I don't even think that, but I don't know. Time flies when I talk. So, and then just one more wash. And then, yeah. So, I don't know if you can see that very well, or if that's focused very well. I think it's back there. Maybe, maybe up here, maybe up here I can show you. If that's any good, don't know if you can see that. Nah, it's too dark, I'll come over here, I'll come over here. Against maybe the white. Nah, I can't really see it, oh here, I'll do this. How's that? Yeah, there we go, there, now we're talking. Now this was only like literally probably under five minutes, not even that, and a lot of the plastic has come up. And if you were to soak that overnight, all that paint would have come off. And I'm just going to very quickly show you one more metal part, because I think maybe the paint will just slough right off. Yeah, it will. So this is what happens, this is what, I'll just try and get my hand out of the way. This is what happens when you just have it in for a really long time. The paint's literally like lifting off, like a goop. And you can just brush that right off. Not a problem. Give it a dunk. And even in the skulls in this throne, it all just sloughs right off the model. I think that's the right word. Like skin meat sloughing off bones. Noble players would know what that is. That was my partner's hand. <laughs> just got to be careful of the mess that you make because of all because of the brushing. But again, like that's like that's getting there. If I just spent some more time cleaning that, that'll be almost a brand new model. Cool, so I'm just going to put that back. I'm going to put all those back in the alcohol. Now, as a warning as well, I mean, don't be stupid. If you're getting models from, like, really old models, all different manufacturers have different 
plastics. So don't always, I would suggest always test the, 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 the models first. Even if like the old original models, they used to have like plastic bases that came with them of the same material. So if they'd have that, then like take a little bit off that. No one's really gonna object to that. And then just chuck it in the alcohol and just see if the plastic gets loose or gets uh, um, floppy. Um, if it does, then yeah, really don't use it. Um, I haven't done it myself, but you can also, you need to stay away from resin as well. Um, supposedly it actually just melts resin outright, so don't use it on that. Um, but yeah, I've also used, um, I've also used uh, Simple Green. I've bought about oh, over 10 liters of the stuff since I've been stripping models, even probably more than that. Um, it does work, but it works like, yeah, I've actually bought like this whole like thing and um, it now just sits in its container because I mean it's maybe if I have a resin model I'll give it a try but um, most of the time I just use the alcohol now. The Simple Green is good um, for the long run, it smells a lot of the time um, but uh, yeah it's just not as effective as the isopropyl alcohol so if you can get away with the alcohol um, don't listen to the rumors where it instantaneously evaporates and you just saw it doesn't do that at all. It gives you plenty of time to work with the stuff. Um, yeah, and the other thing, yeah, uh, I've already mentioned the denture brush, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's actually it. So, um, yeah, I hope this has helped, and uh, yeah, good luck. Also, caveats, if everything, anything melts, it's not my fault. You had your own, <laughs> just, uh, that was your own decision, alright? Alright, good luck everyone. Happy modeling.